Hey, my name is Terry, and today we're going to show you how I painted my Galaxy Class Attack Wing ship. Um, this was a ship that I wasn't really happy with because it was like bleepy blue, and and I just I didn't I didn't like that color, so I decided to repaint it. And it's a really simple job to do. It took me about you know an hour, an hour and a half, um, and and it's just it's such a simple thing to do. I did it with as like six colors even and I could have eliminated one of those by mixing my own gray speaking of gray I base coated this ship in a light gray um, I watered down the paint pretty pretty thin though um, and I actually ended up doing a couple coats of this gray on the ship it's actually better to do several thin coats of paint um, because it will ensure that you don't hide any of the details than it is to do like one single really thick coat because it tends to get chunky and it hides the details that you essentially want to pick out. The better the details are, are maintained on the ship, the easier this ship will be to paint because you do not have to worry about what, uh, you'll be, what you need to pick out with the next techniques. Now, what I'm doing now is doing what's called a dry brush. I take a little bit of white paint, I wipe it off on a paper towel until it's almost gone, and then I basically take that brush and rub it all over the ship, and that actually picks up all the high ridges and edges of the ship, any of the details that are raised on the ship, and it gives it a nice highlight, which is why it's important to maintain the details on the ship by doing really thin base coats when you first start out. The next thing I'm gonna do is do what's called a wash. Now a wash is uh, a mixture of paint and water or ink and water, a really, really watered down mix. So you're looking at maybe like a 20 to 1, 15 to 1, uh, and this is like a 15 to 1. It was still really heavy. I didn't, I didn't like how dark it was, um, so I ended up actually applying it and then washing out my brush and keeping it damp and then removing some of that ink using my damp brush um, because it was so it was so heavy. Um, you just want enough to kind of sink into the crevices of the ship and you know kind of create shadows where the shadows would be. So what you've essentially done is you've created a highlight by dry brushing and a shadow just by uh, washing the ship and that is 90% of the job. Once you've done that, it is really simple to then pick out the details. But by doing this, you make the ship just look outstanding right away. Now, if you want to stop here, you absolutely can too. I'm also doing the bottom side of my ship because I, I want to, um, but really nobody sees the bottom side of your ship. So if you don't want to do anything more than just putting the base coat on it um, and keeping it consistent, you're fine with that. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a blue and I'm going to start painting the edge of the saucer. Um, I wanted to do it because I've seen some pictures where the, there's an edge blue on it. It's a little thick. Um, ultimately, I think if I was going to do it again, I wouldn't uh, paint the edges uh, as heavily blue. I might actually do a white edge highlight on on the edge here, but um, I ended up being you know, pretty happy with with the overall color and it actually added a little more color to the ship because it is just so gray um, that it kind of got boring. Once you're done, uh, once I finished painting the saucer there, I actually ended up painting the blue where I was very happy with it and that's in the nacelles. The sculpt is such that it's like really obvious where the blue should go, where the borders are of that blue. Um, so I just painted within those borders. I actually exaggerated a little bit on the front though. I gave it a little more shape to it because it didn't really have a great shape. Um, and I made it more symmetrical um, so that it would look a little more triangular and, and more consistent on both sides of the ship. Uh, and then I just painted it through. Now, you will see here that I'm actually pressing my hands together as I paint this. This is a common thing I hear when people talk about how they cannot paint models is that their hands shake. But if you press your hands together as you paint a model, it actually uh, you know shakes them together and it shakes the, sh the model that you're painting with them. So when you look at it in relative terms, they're all pretty much still to each other. So the shaking won't actually affect how you paint. My hands, even to this day, after 10 years of model painting, still shake if I don't stabilize them on something. So I actually end up stabilizing my hands to each other and then I stabilize my arms to a table and and no shaking and I get nice steady hands to, to paint my models with. I also painted the deflector dish blue. Uh, I didn't like how it had that weird red circle in the middle of it, so I threw the blue in there. So that's a good view of what you can see when you're actually, you know, 
painting the the inside of the blue um, I painted it really thick so that I could put some gradation of color on the inside of the nacelles um, so I'm taking a lighter blue color it's the same blue I just mixed it with some white and I'm painting like on the inside of the nacelle um, that blue I want to keep the edges of the nacelle in that that darker blue but as as we go towards the middle I want to make it brighter and brighter because that's kind of where the energy comes from that's where the light comes from and this is a really easy way to simulate the color of, like, of light because it's white um, so you get a feel for for energy um, coming out of the nacelles it gives it a little more of a dramatic feel um, unlike uh, the original paint job which was just like a basic blue which kind of seemed dead um, by by painting in light uh, from its light sources in this really simple manner uh, you get a, a real drama to the the ship and so I'm just painting it in there it doesn't have to be straight it's kind of willy-nilly as long as I keep some of the edges of the blue so you get a real sense of the blue color being there um, you can kind of paint it how you how you wish again when you're at the detail stage, like uh, painting the nacelles, um, you, you kind of want to just take your time and enjoy the process. It does not take long to paint these nacelles. Um, you know, you know, just getting to in there and stabilizing your hands. And all you really have to do is just take your time, stabilize up, and and just move in smooth. Uh, single direction motions, especially when you're painting lines like this. You'll see I won't go back and forth with my brush, I'll just go in one direction. That makes it easier to keep the line straight and it makes it a lot easier to to maintain that edge on the, the darker blue as well because it's a lot easier to control your brush going one way um, than the other. I'm also taking that highlight color and also adding it to the saucer section um, because that, that blue was so heavy and thick. I wanted to lighten that up a little bit. Um, so I just ba basically picked an edge and then highlighted that edge. I picked the upper edge um, and just added that light blue to that upper edge, keeping the darker blue on the bottom. Again, it gives a little bit of drama to the ship. Now I'm going to take a, a, a wash that I've kind of added a little more paint to, um, so it's a little bit darker, and I'm going to actually pick out a part of the ship that has very much more rays than the rest of the saucer section. Um, if you actually own the ship, you can see from the way I'm holding it there, it kind of looks like it's all like flat and, and one-dimensional, but the actual model itself has that particular area which I'm kind of outlining has a little bit more rays than the rest of the the saucer so I wanted to kind of pick that out and highlight it and make it make it show up a little more obviously so I'm just gonna take my brush and and do the circle around that edge there and go around up at the top as well if you don't want to do this step totally optional it's totally optional it's not something that that is at all required it's quite dark you can see there it's quite dark um, but I, I find that it kind of picked out some of the highlights just a little bit more now I'm taking some of the red and I'm painting it on the front of the nacelles I'm actually ignoring the sculpt on this because the sculpt kind of has it more to the front and more small um, I wanted it to, to be a little more exaggerated on my nacelles so I actually took the red all the way just about nearly to the edge band there so on both sides right through the front I just took the red and just painted it all through. It's, again, one of the joys of painting these models is they don't have to exactly be true to the show if you don't want them to be. Um, there are many Galaxy class ships out there and I'm sure some of them have some unique touches to themselves. So uh, throwing yours in and painting it in a manner that makes you happy is more important than painting it in a manner that is exactly true to the show. Um, so. I basically painted the nacelles and I also painted there's like a cross bridge that's red as well on the back of the, the where the saucer meets the um, the bottom uh, I guess the battle bridge is where it would be right there um, so that's that's kind of where where I finished up with the red now here's where I'm going to start taking some white and picking out even more details. The white I'm going to pick out in the front of the nacelle. I'm going to draw kind of like a line through the red in the middle and I'm going to also take that white and draw the, a line of white right through the middle of the blue parts of the nacelle. Again, keeping the gradation of color on both sides, the darker on uh, the outside edges and then uh, the, as we go lighter right through the middle of painting that white line in. It creates that 
that element of light as if lights coming out of there you can see right there uh, a little bit what the red nacelles kind of look like with a little bit of white through I'm gonna also take that white and just make uh, little touches on the little squares on the top of the ship I find that it kind of adds a little more dimension again we want to put layers on this model to kind of give it dimension. Um, the more you have these kinds of details painted, um, the more realistic the ship looks. And so it's not necessarily about painting them true to what it looks like, but more like just spending the time and picking out the little details so it looks like the details are there and their approximations. When you paint a model of the scale, it's more like painting an impressionist painting uh, than it is painting a true to uh, life kind of kind of expression. So you can have a look there and see what what the ship essentially looks like um, and and get a good sense for what it is. Now the final touch is going to be painting the little black bits on the ship. These black bits. Basically I just picked some squares at random, painted them black. It's just that simple. Um, by doing so it just adds again that little touch of dimension to the ship. It's an impressionistic kind of idea where I'm assuming that maybe some of these windows aren't lit or the rooms are dark or whatever um, and just and just leaving it at that. It doesn't have to be perfect. You don't have to paint for example all the little black lines that are on larger scale ships. If you actually look at um, some of the larger scale ships, you see these little like black slits all through um, the saucer section of the ship. I'm not going to paint those on there. I think that when you do stuff like that, it's it's too much for a ship this scale and it's really hard to, to get a true approximation of what that is. But by picking out smaller details and putting in like little uh, dimensional aspects to it, you kind of give it a little bit of life and a little bit of drama and uh, and you show that you actually kind of care about this as well. Um, this is my ship. It, it is, there are many like it, but this one is mine. And when I go up to gaming night now, nobody is going to mistake this ship for theirs. That's a final look at what they look like um, done. You can kind of see that baby blue stuff that I'm talking about. I'm not a fan of. Um, and you can kind of see the drama in the nacelles by painting the white on the edges on the inside there. I did forget to tape uh, the part where I actually paint the band around the nacelle yellow, but it really is well sculpted, so just paint the yellow in that band on the tops and sides and bottoms of the nacelles and you're done. It's just that simple. You can see I didn't do anything with the deflector dish. I really didn't do anything with the bottom side of the ship either, um, but it, it makes me happy now and that's what matters. Thanks for watching. If you uh, like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Also tune in because I'm going to be doing other ships. If there's requests, leave them in the comments below. I also did a exclusive preview of next month's campaign prizes and uh, I show you some transportation tips. So if you don't want to handle all your ships, just check them out. Anyways, see you soon.